Top of the morning, this is Alex again um, <clears throat> with what is turning into a four part uh, product review. Um, in my recent order um, from our friends at Southord, I also decided to get a couple of their Southord Max um, products. Actually, I have another one from before, um, which I'll put in here just as a different handle style. Um, I got the fancy ergonomic plastic handles, which are just fine. They're, they're very good feedback. They're nice, nice hard plastic. I'll put this one aside because um, it's sort of out of place. Um, as you can tell, I like curves and I like offset things, but um, I got these because I wanted the three size of curves um, and I wanted to try, um, I wanted to try these out. And as you may have heard, I'm really pretty hard on picks. I think there's another one of these gray ones that is, has gone um, a wall, um, but uh, it doesn't really matter the purposes of this. Now, there are two different color handles. Why are there two different color handles? Well, let's get out the let's get out the old micrometer. Um, where where is frame? Let me slide this back without knocking it off the table. So here's my micrometer. It's in inches. Here is one of the black ones. Let's just randomly pick this one and take a measurement. So that's that's coming out 024025, you know, depending on where I put it in there. So for those of you that speak metric, that's um, 062 or 0.62 mil. Okay. Um, so that's a pretty standard uh, normal size um, thing. The gray ones, however, you can probably see a good bit thicker. I think these are 3.4, if I remember. Um, back to inches. 3.2, oh, 32. Um, that's almost 50% larger and 0.08, I'm sorry, 0.81 mil for our friends in Europe. Um, so the metal in general is pretty tough. I mean, they call it Max. I'll put this guy back in frame now because I have used him quite a lot. That's a big diamond. Um, <clears throat> but Let's uh, just find the focus there. <laughs> um, so these guys, if they fit your keyway and you're kind of heavy handed or you just need to get some real leverage, these guys are great. Um, these are also fine. Um, you can see I've got a little bit of a bend in that one, so I must have been using it a little bit. So they will bend, but not, not as badly as uh, a lot of things would. The finish on them is a little bit rough. Um, you can, I don't know if you can hear that, but um, it's not so much ridged as it just is sort of a residual stamped sheet metal kind of thing. And the ends are really not very, there's a little bit of polish on them, but they're, they're kind of square. The edges are kind of square. So I would want to, I would want to spend some time with some sandpaper. Um, and uh, clean those up a little bit, but um, <clears throat> not bad. Um, I'd say about typical for Southord. Um, um, so, and while I have these out, um, you may have heard me talking about like aspect ratio and stuff on various uh, picks, um, and uh, I just want to sort of tell you what I mean by that. Anyway, when I'm talking about the aspect ratio, what I'm talking about is the ratio of the thickness of the shaft to the height of the whatever the point is on it. That's what I was looking for. Um, that's a Peterson diamond. Um, where are we? We're on frame, yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> let me get the, um, let me slide this up so I can get the mic in view. Okay. So, <clears throat> this is easier with calipers, but this happens to be the tool I have out at the moment. So if we measure the shaft, I think it's 0, 06, basically. So 60 thousandths um, nominal um, right. And if you measure right at the corner there, it's just slightly less than that. Um, if we measure at the point, it should be about 12. Um, if I can get this square in here. Um, so it's actually about 0 0.5 there, 0 0.05 there, 050, and it's about 10 or 11 at the point. So it's about twice the the um, the height of the top of the, uh, the tip of the diamond 
is about twice the thickness of the shaft where, it, where the diamond meets there, okay? So I'd call that like a two, or maybe you call it a one X. Um, in comparison, here's the, the Southard Max, this is the one with the metal handle. Um, I really should have got my caliper out, but it's, it's, I think it's packed. So that's the same kind of thickness, 061. It's probably closer to 5, uh, 050, and then that's 14. So that's about three times. So you might call that a 3x. And somewhere in between there might be a, a you know, a one and a half, or two and a half rather. Um, so you can kind of use that as a gauge of the, um, the size of the, or the, the, the shape of the, why is that? There we go. Um, the shape of the, uh, the end of the thing. Um, it's also a good guide if you're making your own picks. Let me come back and give you, so you can be looking at the picks more carefully. Uh, if you're making your own picks uh, and you're trying to shape the ends, using that kind of, uh, measuring that at that kind of uh, ratio is a good way to get the size of the hook and the size of the shaft and everything uh, pretty well, uh, pretty good, um, and also be able to replicate them without having to sit there with a template and that sort of thing. Um, so you can see the size-wise they're just a bit longer than the Peterson. The blades are just a skosh longer, but I'd call it basically the same. Um, so there's that. They th I think they do come in this metal handle. Um, <clears throat> And this, this one has been polished a little bit, I think. Um, so handles are really pretty solid plastic. You can hear that. I like the fact that they're color-coded, so you can, you know, if you're grabbing one, you can tell which of the uh, um, thicknesses you're getting. Um, and then these two are offset balls that I wanted to give a go. I've got a bunch of their offset diamonds already, so um, I thought I'd give that a try. I really bent the fuck out of that one, huh? Um, so um, these are nice picks, and if you're if you're heavy-handed like me, um, I think they'll stand up to a pretty good amount of, of uh, high torque picking. I think the the gray ones, the uh, the 032 metal, you can really bear down with those things and not have to worry too much about deforming it. Um, and I may actually get one or two more of those for my my purposes. Um, so pretty happy so far. Only had them about l less than a week, but um, pretty happy with them so far. I think they're a good product. They're a little expensive. I think they're 12 bucks each. Um, they probably come in a nice set, which is probably a hundred bucks. But um, so if you're, I wouldn't say it's a starter. You know, they're starter picks. They're probably a little bit high end, but they're um, they might you know if you need to replace a couple of picks in your collection or. Um, you know, augment it a little bit. I think they'd be a, a good one to look at. Maybe get a couple and, and try them out. So, Southord Max um, picks. Um, yeah, I think I've said everything I need to say. So, finish, I'd sort of put it a medium. Um, the metal is, is pretty good. Um, it, it, you can bend it, but it's metal, so what do you want? Um, but just to give you, let's just do one other demo. Um, let's grab two that are essentially the same. So this is the 032 and this is the 025. So just putting equal amounts of pressure roughly, you can see how much more bendable the one is than the other. Okay, and if I press down, I don't know how well you'll be able to see in the video, but well, it's kind of not a very solid surface, but you do get a bit more flex from the thinner one, but that's what you'd expect, and then you may want that, depending on what you're trying to do with it. Um, but these guys are like using a crowbar in there. Um, oops, sorry about that. Um, these thicker ones are like using a crowbar, um, which I, which is really good sometimes. So you need to get something out of false or um, just ram that thing in somewhere. Okay, so um, nice products, nicely done. Um, I would like to see a nicer finish, particularly if you're paying twelve dollars for a pick. Um, you know, that's a dozen Sterrett feeler gauges, um, so that's a pretty expensive pick. I would expect it to be finished a bit better, um, so that would be my suggestion to them. Otherwise, uh, very nicely executed and um, pretty, good, uh, pretty good picks. Anyhow, uh, this is Alex. Thanks for watching. Have fun 
And as always, please keep it legal.